Looking at the first floor of a two-storey dwelling, I'm wanting to discuss these internal brace walls which run parallel to the floor trusses below. Although there is no vertical load applied to this wall from above, we still need to consider the lateral loads to ensure the required bracing capacity is achieved throughout this dwelling. These lateral loads, they need to be adequately transferred through the subfloor and structure below. And looking at this bottom plate, we can see it has been nailed and batten screwed to the floor. So we'll need to check the underside of this wall to determine how these fixings tie into the rest of the structural frame. This is the underside of that same wall. We can see the line of nail and screw fixings and it is evident that the bottom plate of the brace wall above is fixed to these floor sheets only, which is not a nominal fixing method as per AS 1684, meaning that the lateral bracing load is not adequately transferred through the structure. There are various ways to do this correctly through what's known as bridging blocks or transfer blocks. The installation guide for your nominated floor truss system, read in conjunction with the project's design documentation, will provide guidance on this. In summary, assessing the transfer of lateral loads is just as important as vertical loads, Following these lateral load paths through the structure and reviewing fixings and connections in accordance with the relevant documentation is crucial in ensuring that a building's required bracing capacity is achieved.